talk about power outages because we know uh, that Dominion Virginia power crews have been busy from overnight. Dan Janest joining us live on the phone. Dan, good morning to you. Good morning. I know it has been a very, very busy evening into the morning. Can you talk about what kind of uh, outages you're looking at right now? Uh, in terms of numbers down in the Hampton Roads, North Carolina area, we, we had about 37,000 customers affected over the course of the storm. We have that down to about 4,500 now. Mm -hmm. uh, we anticipate that a lot of people will be restored today, but just due to some of the damage in some of the areas, there will be places we won't even be able to get into until sometime tomorrow oh or maybe even the next day. Can you break it down a little bit for us as far as where you're seeing most of the outages? Sure. Uh, probably the, the greatest areas are uh, up in Williamsburg where we have about 1,500 customers out. Mm -hmm. uh, a Hosky down in North Carolina where we have 800 customers out and we've already found 40 broken poles down there and so we wow. think we're going to find Goodness. more. Uh, the Outer Banks has about 600 and Roanoke Rapid has about 872. The, the beach proper area actually is very light. I think Norfolk and mm -hmm. Virginia Beach only have 12 customers out. Right. Yeah, we're mostly spared in this. Uh, do, you, do you have other folks coming in from uh, out of town to help you out? I know many times in situations like this, you, you bring in folks from other areas to help speed the work along. We do. We are we are sending some people down to Ahoski. We're bringing some bringing in some extra crews from uh, Richmond and Northern Virginia to go down to Gloucester. Mm -hmm. So we are bringing in extra crews. Dan, we know in a in certainly in a time like this, people want to see what's happened. They want to see what's going on in their neighborhoods. See how they can help. And uh, you know, we've seen and we've heard from uh, rescuers uh, down. To trees, downed power lines. Can you talk about the dangers of people uh, walking around in all of this and trying to touch and do what they can when they really shouldn't? You know, I mean, the best thing to do if you're in an area where you don't have power and there are lots of downed trees, either get in your car and leave the area or stay in your house. Uh, you don't know where the lines might be with all that debris out there. Uh, if there is a line down and you see it, it assume that it is live and mm -hmm. stay away from it and and give us a call at our customer service center that number is 1-866-366-4357 and i would ask customers again to call that number if they don't have power on as we're making repairs there may be damage behind what we fix that we don't know about so they still need to call if they don't have power right so i mean one neighbor might think oh uh, my neighbor called, but if nobody calls, then you're not necessarily going to know that power is out in a, in a particular community. That's correct. Yeah, and again, uh, you said at least several days here probably for some people. We know where some of us who have been here for quite a while are thinking back to uh, Hurricane Isabel, and that right. took, you know, a, a week for some folks. Are you seeing that it could possibly be as long as a week? You know, I don't think it's going to go that long. You know, okay. the key issue right now here is just safety of the public. With, with so many trees and poles and things down, we want to make sure that we can get to these people and get them hooked up, and there may be issues with us just, just being able to get to some of the places. Sure, safety to the public and your crews as well, because, uh, yeah, it can be dangerous for everyone out there. Right. Again, that number, one 866 4357 Dan, you're also one of those folks who uh, has been up, um, I'm <laughs> sure. Uh, Oh, all night long. Um, what are your crews saying? What are you hearing about the damage? Have you yourself seen any of this? No, I haven't. I've been kind of up here in Richmond, Virginia, so mm -hmm. I haven't seen it. But I'm just hearing stories from from the folks that I've been talking to. There, there are areas where the damage is moderate, and then there are areas where they're describing it as catastrophic. Yeah, yeah, we're looking at those pictures from Chopper Tent, particularly right now over Gloucester County, where homes just pulled off of their foundation and then just crushed. Wow. Dan, we want to thank you so much for your time, and, and we'll get back with you uh, to update. Um, as soon as you have an update, let us know. We'll, we'll pass it along to folks. We appreciate it. Okay, thank you very much.